Rahul Gandhi pronunciation Ra -a -a -n -d -i, born 19 June 1970 is an Indian politician. He hails from a long line of politicians, known as the Nehru Gandhi dynasty, which has occupied a prominent place in the politics of India ever since the country gained independence in 1947. The son of Sonia and Rajiv Gandhi, he is the president of the Indian National Congress and serves such additional offices as the chairperson of the Indian Youth Congress and the National Students' Union of India. A member of the Indian Parliament, Gandhi represents the constituency of Amathi, Uttar Pradesh in the 16th Lok Sabha. Gandhi stayed away from public sphere for much of his childhood and early youth. He attained primary education in New Delhi and Dehradun but was later home schooled because of security concerns. He later attended Rollins College under a pseudonym, his identity being known only to a select few including university officials and security agencies. After obtaining degrees in international relations and development studies at the universities of Rollins and Cambridge, Gandhi worked at the Monitor Group, a management consulting firm in London. He established the Mumbai-based technology outsourcing firm, Backops Services Private Limited. Gandhi entered politics in 2004 and successfully contested the general elections held that year from Amathi, a seat that was earlier held by his father. He won again from the constituency in 2009 and 2014. Amidst calls from Congress party veterans for his greater involvement in party politics and national government, Gandhi was elected Congress vice president in 2013, having served as the general secretary previously. Gandhi led Congress's campaign in the 2014 Indian general elections. The party suffered its worst electoral result in its history, winning only 44 seats compared to 206 seats won previously in the 2009 general election. Gandhi took over as the president of the Congress in December 2017. He is also a trustee of Rajiv Gandhi Foundation and Rajiv Gandhi Charitable Trust. Early life Gandhi was born in Delhi on 19 June 1970, as the first of the two children of Rajiv Gandhi, who later became the Prime Minister of India, and Italian-born Sonia Gandhi, who later became President of Indian National Congress, and as the grandson of the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. His paternal grandfather Feroz Gandhi was a Parsi from Gujarat. He is also the great-grandson of India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru. Priyanka Vadra is his younger sister and Robert Vadra is his brother-in-law. He identifies himself as a Hindu Brahmin. Gandhi attended St. Columbus School, Delhi before entering the Dune School in Dehradun, Uttarakhand from 1981 to 1983. Meanwhile, his father had joined politics and became the Prime Minister on 31 October 1984 when Indira Gandhi was assassinated. Due to the security threats faced by Indira Gandhi's family from Sikh extremists, Rahul Gandhi and his sister, Priyanka, were homeschooled thereafter. Gandhi joined St. Stephen's College, Delhi in 1989 for his undergraduate education but moved to Harvard University after he completed the first year examinations. In 1991, after Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated by the Tamil Tigers LTTE during an election rally, he shifted to Rollins College in Florida, USA, due to security concerns and obtained his BA in 1994. During his time at Rollins, he assumed the pseudonym Raul Vinci and his identity was known only to the university officials and security agencies. He further went on to obtain an MPhil from Trinity College, Cambridge in 1995. After graduation, Rahul Gandhi worked at the Monitor Group, a management consulting firm, in London. In 2002, he was one of the directors of Mumbai based technology outsourcing firm Backops Services Private Limited. While in 2004, Gandhi had told the press that he had a Spanish girlfriend, an architect, living in Venezuela, whom he had met while studying in England. In 2013, he suggested that he may not get married. Political career Formative years In March 2004, Gandhi announced his entry into politics by announcing that he would contest the May 2004 elections, standing for his father's former constituency of Amathi in Uttar Pradesh in the Lok Sabha, India's lower house of parliament. His mother had held the seat until she transferred to the neighbouring seat of Ray Bareilly. 
The Congress had been doing poorly in Uttar Pradesh, holding only 10 of the 80 Lok Sabha seats in the state at the time. At the time, this move generated surprise among political commentators, who had regarded his sister Priyanka as being the more charismatic and likely to succeed. It generated speculation that the presence of a young member of India's most famous political family would reinvigorate the Congress party's political fortunes among India's youthful population. In his first interview with foreign media, Gandhi portrayed himself as an uniter of the country and condemned divisive politics in India, saying that he would try to reduce caste and religious tensions. Gandhi won, retaining the family stronghold with a victory margin of over 100,000. Until 2006, he held no other office. Gandhi and his sister, Priyanka, managed their mother's campaign for re election to Ray Bareilly in 2006, which was won with a victory margin of over 400,000 votes. He was a prominent figure in the Congress campaign for the 2007 Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections. Congress, however, won only 22 seats of the 403 seats with 8.53% of votes. Gandhi was appointed General Secretary of the All India Congress Committee on 24 September 2007 in a reshuffle of the party secretariat. In the same reshuffle, he was also given charge of the Indian Youth Congress and the National Students' Union of India. In 2008, senior Congress leader Virupa Moili mentioned Rahul as PM idea when the PM of India Manmohan Singh was still abroad. He was elevated to the position of the vice president of the party in January 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Youth politics In September 2007 when he was appointed General Secretary in charge of the Indian Youth Congress and the National Students' Union of India Gandhi promised to reform youth politics. In his attempt to prove himself thus, in November 2008 Gandhi held interviews at his 12 Tughlaq Lane residence in New Delhi to handpick at least 40 people who will make up the think tank of the Indian Youth Congress IYC, an organization that he has been keen to transform since he was appointed General Secretary in September 2007. Under Gandhi, the IYC and NSUI have seen a dramatic increase in members from 200,000 to 2.5 million. The Indian Express wrote in 2011, three years later, as another organizational reshuffle is in the offing, Gandhi's dream remains unrealized with party veterans manipulating internal elections in the Youth Congress and a host of people with questionable background gaining entry into it. <laughs> 2009 elections In the 2009 Lok Sabha elections, Gandhi retained his Amathi seat by defeating his nearest rival by a margin of over 370,000 votes. Gandhi was credited with the Congress revival in Uttar Pradesh where they won 21 out of the total 80 Lok Sabha seats. He spoke at 125 rallies across the country in six weeks. The nationwide elections defied the predictions made by pre-poll predictions and exit polls and gave a clear mandate to the incumbent Congress-led UPA government. In May 2011, Gandhi was arrested by the Uttar Pradesh police at Bada Parsal village after he turned out in support of agitating farmers demanding more compensation for their land being acquired for a highway project. Gandhi was taken away from the protest site and later given bail and dropped off at the Delhi up border. Topic: 2012 Assembly Elections. Gandhi campaigned during the 2012 Assembly elections in the politically crucial Uttar Pradesh election for almost two months, holding 200 rallies. However, Congress ranked as the fourth party in the state, winning 28 seats, an increase of six seats from the previous 2007 elections. Out of the 15 seats in the Amathi parliamentary constituency, Congress won two. Congress activists defended the result in Uttar Pradesh, saying, There's a big difference between state elections and national polls, and in the end, there is only the first family, a hope and a prayer, and pointing out the turnaround attributed to Gandhi in the 2009 Lok Sabha national elections in the state. However, Rahul Gandhi publicly accepted responsibility for the result in an interview after the result was declared. In the Gujarat Assembly elections held later in the year, Gandhi was not made the head of the election campaign. This was seen and regarded by opponents as an admission of defeat and was termed as a tactic to avoid blame of defeat. 
Congress won 57 seats in the Assembly of 182, which was two less than the previous elections in 2007. Later in bipoles, Congress lost four more seats to BJP. Indian general election, 2014 Gandhi contested the Indian general election, 2014 from his constituency, Amathi, and led the election campaign of the Indian National Congress. Gandhi held the Amathi seat by defeating his nearest rival, BJP's Smriti Irani, by a reduced margin of 107,000 votes. Under his leadership, the Indian National Congress suffered its worst ever performance in elections and won only 44 seats compared to 206 seats won previously in the 2009 general election. The Congress-led Electoral Alliance, the UPA also had its worst ever performance in elections and won only 59 seats compared to 262 seats won previously in the 2009 general election. After the defeat, Gandhi offered to resign his posts, only to be rejected by the party's working committee. Post-general election Farmers and land agitation In February 2015, Gandhi went on a leave of absence to an "...undisclosed location to reflect both on recent events related to the party and its future course." After returning from his leave of absence, Gandhi addressed the Farmer and Workers Rally, named as Kizan Ket Mazdor Rally in Ramlila Maidan on 19 April 2015. Here he made references to his agitations in Nyamgiri in Orissa and Bada Parsal in Greater Noida in Uttar Pradesh. The rally was attended by one lakh people. In the speech he gave, he criticized the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi about his comment in Toronto where he said that he was cleaning the mess created by previous governments." He also said, "'Do you know how Modi won the election? He borrowed thousands of crores from industrialists for his several campaigns and advertisements. How will he pay them back? He will pay them back with your land. He will give your land to his industrialist friends.'" He mocked the government as, "'Suit Boot Government." A reference to Modi's monogrammed suit which he wore in the Republic Day meeting with Barack Obama. Moreover, he used the Aki Din government jibe, which was Modi's election campaign slogan meaning Good Day's government, and mentioned that it had failed the country. A land bill was introduced by the BJP government in the parliament in May, which was criticized by the opposition parties. Accusing the government of murdering UPA's land bill, Gandhi promised to prevent the bill from being passed, if not in the parliament, then would stop you BJP government on streets. He further accused the government of diluting the bill and called it as Andy Farmer. Gandhi also drew parallel between daylight robbery and the bill. On 26 May, the day of the Modi government's first anniversary, Gandhi commented at a rally in Kori Code, Unfortunately, birthday celebrations is only for a few powerful friends of the government. Kizan, farmers and Mazdor have nothing to celebrate. Political and social views National security In December 2010 during the United States Diplomatic Cables League, WikiLeaks leaked a cable dated 3 August 2009, where the Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh had hosted a lunch on 20 July 2009 for Rahul Gandhi, then the General Secretary of the AICC. One of the guests who was invited for the lunch was the United States Ambassador to India, Timothy J. Romer. In a candid conversation. With Romer, he said that he believes Hindu extremists pose a greater threat to his country than Muslim militants. Rahul Gandhi referred specifically to more polarizing figures in the Bharatiya Janata Party. Also responding to the ambassador's query about the activities in the region by the Islamist militant organization Lashkar-e-Taiba Rahul Gandhi said there was evidence of some support for the group among certain elements in India's indigenous Muslim population. In a response to this, the BJP heavily criticized Rahul Gandhi for his statements. 
BJP spokesperson Ravi Shankar Prasad slammed Rahul Gandhi, saying that his language was a bigger threat to India, dividing the people of the country on communal grounds. Speaking to reporters, Prasad said, "...in one stroke Mr. Rahul Gandhi has sought to give a big leverage to the propaganda to all the extremist and terrorist groups in Pakistan, and also some segments of Pakistani establishment." It would also seriously compromise India's fight against terror as also our strategic security." Adding that terrorism has no religion, he said that Rahul Gandhi had shown his lack of understanding India. Gandhi has also been critical of groups like the RSS and has compared them to terrorist organizations like Simi. After the 2013 Muzaffarnagar riots, at a Madhya Pradesh election rally in Indore, Rahul Gandhi claimed that a police officer has told him that Pakistan's ISI was trying to recruit disgruntled riot affected youngsters. However, the district administration, the upstate government, the Union Home Ministry, the Research and Analysis Wing, and the Intelligence Bureau denied any such development. This remark drew heavy criticism from various political outfits such as BJP, SP, CPI and JD U. Congress's Jiram Ramesh said Gandhi needed to apologize to the Muslim community for this remark. In reply to the ECI's show cause notice to explain why action should not be initiated against him for violating the model code of conduct, Gandhi said that he didn't intend to exploit communal sentiments but was referring to divisive politics. The BJP also asked the government to explain why Gandhi, who holds no post in the government, is being briefed by intelligence officers on important security issues. On 13 November 2013, Election Commission of India finding Gandhi's explanation to be insufficient conveyed its displeasure and advised him to be more circumspect in his public utterances during election campaigns. Lokpal. Rahul Gandhi opines that the Lokpal should be made a constitutional body and it should be made accountable to the parliament, just like the Election Commission of India. He also feels that Lokpal alone cannot root out corruption. This statement came out on 25 August 2011, on the 10th day of Anna Hazare's fast. This statement was considered as a delaying tactic by the opposition and Team Anna's members. It was consequently slammed by prominent opposition leaders Sushma Swaraj and Arun Jaitley. The Parliamentary Standing Committee led by Abhishek Manu Singhvi tabled the Jan Lokpal Bill Report in the Rajya Sabha on 9 December 2011. The report recommended the Lokpal to be made into a constitutional body. In response, Hazar attacked Rahul Gandhi, claiming he had made the bill weak and ineffective. <laughs> Poverty During a rally in Allahabad, Gandhi said, "...poverty is just a state of mind. It does not mean the scarcity of food, money or material things. If one possesses self-confidence, then one can overcome poverty." The phrase, "...state of mind," drew sharp criticism with BJP Uttar Pradesh spokesperson Vijay Bahadur Patak alleging him to be mocking the poor. One India News wrote that he made, "...economics irrelevant." Topic. Ordinance on convicted lawmakers Rahul Gandhi, on the convicted lawmakers ordinance, insisted that the ordinance is complete nonsense and what our government has done is wrong. This was expressed on 28 September 2013 in a press meet, when Rahul made a surprise visit to a press meet organized by Ajay Makin on the topic. The ordinance, earlier, was cleared by the government to negate a Supreme Court's judgment that would have led to the ejection of convicted lawmakers. <laughs> Women's rights Gandhi has pushed for the empowerment of women. He backed the Women's Reservation Bill which would allow 33% reservation of all Lok Sabha and state legislative assembly seats for women. This bill passed the Rajya Sabha on 9 March 2010 but has not yet been voted on by the Lok Sabha as of February 2014. LGBT rights 
Gandhi had backed the repeal of Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code and the decriminalization of homosexuality. <laughs> 